The only thing we read about ISO is the connection between ISO and noise. Sounds like high ISO will make a lot of mess on your photo. Just like Husky. I mean, a bunch of Husky. But is that true? Shall we blame ISO for those annoying noise all over our pictures? And what is the best way to reduce those noises? So without any further ado, let's get started. You can now see two pictures here. They're both taken by Sony A7R 3 Manual focus, same aperture, same shutter speed, same position, almost the same time. The only difference is one was taken with ISO 640, the other one was 10,000. And of course, I did adjust their lightning conditions in Lightroom, so they look really alike here. If we zoom in these pictures, you can't ignore how noisy they are in the corner area. But can you tell which one was shot with higher ISO? The point is, if higher ISO is the reason why we get noise on our pictures, there should be a huge difference here between these two. Because remember, one of them was shot under ISO 640, the other one was under ISO 10000. But the truth is, they both look like crap. No huge difference here. But of course, you might think, Hey, I've been taking photos for decades. Increasing ISO does make photos noisier. Yes, that is true. We usually find our photos noisier if we make ISO value higher. But that doesn't mean higher ISO generates those noise. And what if I told you ISO almost have nothing to do with generating noises? We all know ISO stands for a universal standard of light sensitivities. In old days, we called them ASA or DIN on films, depending which standard you're using. So basically, we can simplify ISO as an amplifier to boost the signal strain which our camera captured. The trick part is, whenever you increase ISO, not only the signal strain, but also the noise, fair and equal. So whenever you take a high ISO pictures come with huge amount of noises, let us be fair, those noises were already there before you increased the ISO value. So if not ISO, who shall be responsible for those ugly noises? That is a complicated yet simple question. The complicated part is, there are a bunch of different noises, such as heat noise and digital noise. But the good news is, we usually don't have to think about them. The most common and obvious noise we normally encounter is called short noise. Where does short noise come from? Short noise was generated randomly by the movement of phantom. And for obvious reason, no matter what camera you're using, you just can't control phantom's trajectory by adjusting ISO settings. So this theory proves again what I've said before. Your ISO setting has nothing to do with those noises. Now you might think, but if nobody can control those noises, why are some pictures looks cleaner? Now you're halfway there. Yes, we cannot control short noises, but we can increase our signal to noise ratio to make photo looks cleaner. Signal to noise ratio is the main and probably the only factor to decide how clean or noisy your photo looks. The concept is very easy to understand. If this ratio gets higher, that means your signal strength is much stronger than the noise. Your photo looks cleaner. And if this ratio gets lower, which means noises are more obvious, and that's something you don't want to see. Now we have the basic concept of signal to noise ratio. And if we make one further step ahead, let me tell you that short noise equals to the root of signal strength. If we combine these two formula, we have one final conclusion here. The key factor of noise, which is signal to noise ratio, equals to the square root of signal strength, which means, in theory, if you have stronger signal, you will always get a cleaner shot, whatever your ISO value is. What a surprise, because we all know signal is light in photography. If you want more signal strength, you just need more light to come into your camera. And the only way to allow more light to come in is by adjusting aperture and shutter speed. Now, for better understanding, let me show you another example. It is a cloudy day here. You are standing outside just with your camera and trying to shoot a landscape photo. According to the aperture depth of field theory, you probably don't want to shoot the landscape at 1.4, so you step down the aperture a little bit. Next, to make sure you don't get a blurry picture, you have no choice but to make shutter speed faster. Less light comes in, signal gets weaker. Remember our formula? Signal to noise ratio equals to the root of signal. So now you know, you are going to get a very noisy picture. 
for someone who didn't watch this video. He or she doesn't know this scientific theory. They will just increase the ISO to make the exposure look normal. And after they import this photo into computer, of course, they will find out a lot of noise. And that will strengthen their thoughts. Increasing ISO makes photo noisier. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not true. The only time you increase ISO value is when your camera can't get enough light from aperture and shutter settings. In that case, the signal to noise ratio has been already decided. If that ratio was okay, then you will be fine. If that ratio is really low, well, that picture will look like a crap. Good news is, after learning how noise was generated and how the signal to noise concept works, we can now figure out some rules to make photo cleaner. Rule number one, larger aperture lens definitely has more capability for absorbing more light, which means in theory, you will always have cleaner shot by using f1.4 lens compared to f2.8. Rule number two, try to make shutter speed as slow as you can for absorbing more light. So always bring a tripod with you if you can, or at least some other tools that can make your camera steady. Rule number three, for obvious reason, if avoiding noise is your top priority, always select a medium format or full frame camera. Rule number four, density of pixels will also affect how much light your camera absorbs. This is something a little bit complicated. So I would just say between two full frame camera, 12 megapixel A7S3 has much better performance in noise control compared to the 61 megapixel A7R4. Rule number five. In most cases, use the theory exposed to the right. Your camera always gain more light by doing so, which will absolutely improve the signal to noise ratio. All right, already a lot of concept and theory here. Let me make one simple conclusion. ISO has nothing to do with noise. The more light your camera absorbs, the cleaner your photo will get. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and hopefully find them useful. I will share more theory and techniques about photography, Photoshop, After Effects, and etc. So make sure you subscribe this channel. Thank you everyone. See you next time.